in Kakamega. Away from politics, every year on the 26th of June, the world commemorates the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, and this year was indifferent. But as Kenya joined the rest of the globe to reflect on the gains made and challenges experienced, KTN's Timothy Otieno brings you the strides made at the grassroots level on a day devoid of any major celebrations. Onesmas Musau and 24-year-old Leila Wairimu arrive at the Karuri Level 4 Hospital, where they're about to get medication to help them contain their drug abuse problem. For them, it's a daily routine that has almost turned into a ritual, where they both wait in line before they go behind a booth where a waiting medic hands them a glass of methadone, a synthetic narcotic drug similar to morphine, but less habit-forming and often used in narcotic detoxification and maintenance of heroin addiction. Both Leila and Alex were hooked on heroin, but are now on the path to sobriety thanks to the medically assisted therapy they undergo at this facility. I feel like you don't need anything. You are okay, you don't have withdrawals, you don't have anything. It was a bad decision that led me to a very miserable, miserable life that I never wish to go back to. For Alex, the consequence of his heroin addiction was dire. It estranged him from his wife of 12 years, who had threatened to leave the marriage the first time he started using. Hey, less did I know it was just the beginning. Akazitumia. No, like... But just like many others here, this rehabilitation center provides refuge to many drug abusers who are first identified through consorted efforts by organizations like LVCT and the Medicines Sun Frontiers. The abusers are registered by the organization, which then links them to the treatment facilities. We are happy because you can see the transformation, you can see the change, the transformation from the DEN and the Methadone Center. We have about... Uh... Uh, 20,000 people who inject drugs, uh, that is in the country. And uh, just to highlight, the leading counties, uh, the top five counties, uh, Mombasa is uh, one of them, like it is expected. Nairobi also being the capital is, is also one of them. Then we have Kware and Kilifi. And then uh, the fifth uh, county in that order is Kiambu County. The rehabilitation process ideally takes two years. Alex has covered 18 months of the treatment and Leila is approaching her fifth month. With 219 reforming addicts already enrolled into the program, the efforts by the community here to tackle the challenge of drug abuse is helping solve the issue one patient at a time. The theme for this year to commemorate the International Day Against Drug Abuse is better knowledge, better care. And knowledge is just one facet of a lengthy rehabilitation process which includes the importance of key installations such